Thunder Report from 1077, the franchise. Greetings, Thunder fans. It's game day. That means today's practice is a shoot around, and it's already been completed here at the Integris Health Center complex. The Thunder play the Memphis Grizzlies tonight in game five of the best of seven, all tied up at two apiece. That means the Thunder have moved home court advantage back to Chesapeake Energy Arena. On today's report, we hear from Kevin Durant and Nick Collison. We'll also rewind and play you yesterday's comments from Scott Brooks and from Russell Westbrook on today's Thunder Report. Well, we're not expecting to come out here and win just because we're at home. You know, we have to impose our will. You know, we have to hit these guys first. And just because we can't at home, we can't relax and let the game come to us. You know, we have to go take it. So, you know, but it's good to have your home crowd behind you, knowing that uh, it's a tied up series and trying to uh, try to take a lead. We talked about just the emotion of Reggie and his big game. What can that do for y'all as far as their defense is really going to have to take help for him? Yeah, I mean, he just he kept everybody honest now, you know, in the pick and roll situations. Um, I expect him to put, you know, more pressure on him. Um, but he makes great decisions, so, you know, we got to ride with him. He's uh, he's coming out with a lot of confidence, and he has to uh, continue to have it, no matter if he struggles, have a tough stretch or, or what. He got to continue to keep that aggressive uh, nature going, and, you know, we're going to play together. Are you at that point in the series where it's kind of like a, a test of wills because they know what you're going to do, you know what they're going to do, and it's going to impose their will? Yeah, that's what it's all about, you know, just posing our will, just coming out there aggressive, you know, taking a game from the beginning of the game. So, you know, we can't be too relaxed because we're at home. So, you know, we got to come out there and uh, play Thunder basketball, man, which is physical defense, moving the basketball, and uh, having fun. That's it? Anybody else? Wow, you guys. Well, I have a question for you. I'll just take over then. Uh-huh. You mentioned yesterday just... <laughs> You know, not paying attention that there may be a guy behind you or, you know, that kind of stuff getting in your head. Is that, is that just a, a finishing thing, a mental thing? You look at film and go, I had that shot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, sometimes in this game, you know, I get in my own way. And I think uh, it's mental. You know, this game is mental. You're thinking you got too much going on in your mind and, you know, stuff will go wrong. So just try to clear my mind, just go out there and play the game. Whatever happens, it happens. Play off my instincts. But if I play extremely hard and for my team, then everything will fall in line perfectly. You think the series is following, it's just, it's going to be half court. I know you guys would like to get up and down and you can win that way, but is there the point where it's just going to be half court? Yeah, we don't mind playing either way. And I think we've grinded it out plenty of times, just as this team does. It's grinded out all the way to the end of the shot clock. Um, so we got we to gotta be prepared to do that. And offensively, I think we got great looks. It's just a, it's just a matter of us knocking them down and, and finding the better shots as well. Uh, moving their defense, so you know it's a tough challenge for us, but we always uh, take on the challenge and yeah, we're excited to play. You got a lot of pressure out of the drive and kick in the first half. The How do you get back to that on a consistent basis? <clears throat> well, we have to get stops, and uh, in order for us to have their defense off balance a little bit, and you know we have to push and be aggressive to the rim, and uh, also look up and find open shots. So you know it's easier said than done, but we have guys that can do both. Series normally Kevin similar to every other day. Was it good to have an additional day you know, three straight overtimes kind of recollect? Yeah, especially after playing so late, you know, um, two of the last four games, you know, played at eight thirty and we was out of there by midnight. So uh, it was good to uh, get these two days after we you know we flew in late uh, was a Saturday. So uh, it's good to have these two days and get our minds and bodies refreshed and uh, get ready for another battle. Their guys from Zach Randolph to Marcus Soule and Tayshawn Prince seem to try to pump fake a ton. Is that your athleticism kind of bothering them? Uh, <clears throat> What do you have to do, I guess, when they, when they do Yeah, that? we just have to stay di disciplined and stay down on the pump fakes and, and be ready for, uh, you know, their drives when they do pump fake. Because, you know, they're, they're guys, those guys are good at getting you off their feet. So you have to stay disciplined. And once they do get you off your feet, rely on your help to be there. So uh, we try to lim eliminate those breakdowns and uh, try to stay focused on what they do. Is this also maybe some of the most disciplined <clears throat> defense you guys have, have played all season, maybe, maybe last game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we could be a lot better. You know, our bigs done a great job, but, uh, you know, guys on the perimeter like myself, we have to be much better. Uh, but that's a part of a series, just, just adjusting and getting better as each game goes along. Uh, first of all, it's a new game. So uh, whatever happened in the last game, not necessarily going to happen this game. But I think it's good for Reggie to be confident and know that he's capable of, of, of playing well and playing well offensively. 
uh, we have faith in him. We know he's capable of doing those things. I think the biggest thing we want to do as a team is play in the right way so guys have opportunities to make plays. Uh, if, if we uh, pass the ball and we have good spacing and we move it two or three times, then, then all of a sudden those uh, drives and attacks to the basket, there's a lot more space. So those are the stuff we're focused on is, is playing the right way and allowing the, our, our talented guys to, to have uh, or uh, have it be um, so they can make plays and, and there'll be more space. Well, is that a conversation that you guys have amongst yourselves or is that something that is just second nature to you that you go out and just make it happen? No, it's a, it's a, it's something we talk about. We watch film, we watch the times when we don't do it and, and um, the, then the times when we do um, move the defense and you can see the difference. So it's definitely an emphasis from the coaches and it's something we work on. What about that three from you out of the corner? Uh, it's something I've been working on and um, I think um, it, there's certain sets where I'm setting up in the corner, and if I get it, I'll, I'll shoot it, and hopefully I'll make it again. Is the pick and roll defense moved in the direction that you guys want to? Seems like finally, and you guys haven't had as many chances in the lane, kind of. Well, we were we were better last game of getting over the screen and getting back, uh, the getting the big back to his man, and uh, we weren't. Uh, getting drug out as much with two defenders on the ball. So we want to continue to do that. They'll, they're smart, Conley's smart. He'll counter. Maybe he'll be a little more aggressive coming off of there. We'll see. But uh, it's a, it's, it, that's something we want over the first day of training camp. You know, that's a defensive fundamental for us. So yeah. uh, a lot of this stuff is, is we know what we're supposed to do. We have to be able to do it at a high level, though. It appears like your bigs, you and Kurt and Kurt, all have yeah. a different style of defense. It's really kind of frustrating Zach Randolph a little bit. You, you guys done a good job against that boys. Kind of talk about what you bring as a, as a group. Well, we got a lot of guys that, that can defend and um, can play physical and, and, and also have some ability to slide our feet. So uh, I think we're, we are we got five guys really who can do it. Ashim has, hasn't had much of a chance, but we're, we're, uh, we feel good about him too if, he, if he's able to get in. But yeah, I think we have a game plan against him. We know he's going to get some buckets. We know they're going to go to him a lot. We know there's probably going to be some fouls called, but uh, we, we feel like we've done a decent job of not letting him uh, get a lot of easy ones, and that's what we're going to try to do the rest of the series. Do you expect that they will go to him early, try to get him going, maybe even try to find a better spot so just as you expect they make the brand Well, he's a big part of what they do, so they're never going to go away from him. So uh, I think every game coming in, we know that that's going to be a big part of our defense is, is making his catches difficult and uh, making him a little further out on the floor and, and making him earn his buckets. How much as I ask Kevin this is that you're at that point, everybody knows what everybody wants to do. It's just it's going to close their will on the other. Yeah, and that's that's really what it's about is is, is uh, who can execute and who can uh, have have the right energy coming out of, out of, at the start of the game. And um, yeah, there's not a lot of a lot of um, chess moves really that can be made. It's it's more about uh, going out there and doing it. Is it any easier to generate the pace you want at home with the building behind you? The way it is? Yeah, I think it's a it's an advantage. Uh, it seems to give the home teams more energy, gives us more energy. Uh, but the building doesn't do it itself. We saw that in game two. Uh, it's up to us to come out and play the right way, and then and then the building gets behind us, and then we can feed off of that as we go. But we have to come out with the right mindset for sure. Nick, how do you like the way you play? Do you, anything else that you feel like you would like to do better in the series? Uh, I've done okay. I think I want to. Um, be a threat offensively, be aggressive, and, and just play basketball. That's always something with me is I got to make sure I'm not, uh, or I'm, I'm looking for opportunities to, to make plays. Uh, sometimes that's not always shooting, but it's a drive to kick to somebody else. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how I played. And um, of course, there's plays you want back. There always is in, in these games. But, um, you know, I'll get ready to go for tonight. You may not want to say it's shooting, but I watch you work on that corner three a lot here. Would you like to? You want to display it a little bit more? Like to? Well, I, I think it's a good play for us. I think when you can space to the three-point line in the corner, it makes the it makes the court more space, and that's something Coach talked to me about. And um, you know, I, I used to shoot when I'd spot in the corner, I'd shoot probably a foot or two inside. So the shot's not that much different. My percentage hasn't been great, but it's something I worked on, and uh, I want to be able to shoot that with confidence. And you know, I don't get a ton of opportunities, it's one a week maybe, but uh, <laughs> uh, when it comes, I want to be ready. Nick, each team has won one here at home and one one on the road. Is home court advantage maybe not as beneficial in this series, or can it still can it still make a difference? Well, I think I think it helps. You always want to play at home, but but ultimately we we know each game is its own thing, and um, it, each game is incredibly difficult, uh, especially playing a team like Memphis. So I think 
the teams that the teams that are able to turn the page from either a win or a loss and come back and, and be ready to play that night when the ball is thrown up are the teams who have the most success and that's what we want to do. Will you be watching the commissioner's press conference this afternoon? Yeah, it's a it, it's a it's a difficult thing, you know. The league has historically been uh, great with uh, diversity. Um, I think we, the league has done a great job. One man, I think, doesn't doesn't speak for the league. I think everybody's aware of that, but it is a big story. So uh, I'll be interested to see what they do, and um, hopefully, we'll be able to move on from it. But it's definitely a, a difficult situation for players. It brings up a lot of emotions, a lot of conversations, which I think can be good. Um, but but f I guess it's up to up to the commissioner and the owners to s see what they want to do with it. Thanks. Last one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad for the league too, because this uh, this is our time to shine, and the playoffs have been great. Um, it's too bad that this is taking attention from it, but um, it's a it's an important issue, and so uh, so it's understandable that people are, are concerned with it, and, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean that's definitely some uh, stressful moments, uh, but that's what you live for. As a player, you love opportunities to have fourth quarter games, overtime games, and you know the the few things go our way. Either game, we could have won either game. Uh, I like I like the fact that everybody stuck with each other in that uh, our last game. Uh, the defense gave us a chance. We've always we talk about that, but the defense gave us a chance. Uh, Perks done a, a terrific job on their bigs, uh, and our guards done a great job of rebounding. Kevin and Russell did not have good shooting games, uh, but I think they had 13 and 10 rebounds. So that's part of their defense is rebounding the basketball. And they've done a good job with that. Talked a lot about your guys' defense. Talk a lot about Memphis, but what's your assessment of what Tavasevolo has done in this last couple of games? Well, he's um, we put him on Connolly just to, to start the game off with him getting having a different look before we put Russell on him or or, or other guards. Uh, Tavasevolo's length can give problems. He we want him to harass him in the backcourt a little bit. I think he's done a good job of using his uh, defensive toughness to impact the series. There have been extensive stretches last two games, Scotty, where Westbrook and Jackson were both in the game. And you had Reggie guarding Conley. What is he playing better at that at that point of attack, or what, trying to build his confidence defensively? What's your thought there? No, I mean it, they can both guard each guy. You know, one one of the things Russell does a good job of guarding bigger players. Uh, so that's that's the, really the thought with Lee or Miller, whoever he was guarding, uh, the particular time that you're talking about. But they can both guard each other. But if I had to pick one guy, I would rather have Russell guard the bigger of the two guards, just because Russell. You know he's uh, he's he can guard twos better than Reggie, but they both can guard each other's man. That's the strength of our team. A lot of guys can do that. Can you talk specifically about what Perkins and Ibaka have done against Zach Randolph? Um, Perks is one of the premier defenders in the league. He does that uh, game in game out. He 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 gives everything he has to stop his man from getting good post position. That's his first line of defense. And then defensively, he moves his feet. He uh, contests the, the, his shots, and he's done a good job with that. But that he's gonna have to do it, keep doing it, because Zach is not uh, gonna give up. That guy is as good as any player in this league of playing uh, aggressive, low post basketball. He's relentless in his pursuit of the basket, of uh, the basketball when, when the offensive um, boards are available. He's always crashing, but you have to make sure you always stay between him and the basket. Scott, how much do you think um, Tony Allen is affecting Kevin's shooting struggles? Uh, well, Kevin had great shots. Yeah, the, the 21 shots, I, I counted, I thought he, 18 shots that were really good. Uh, three, of the, three of the other shots, you know, if he was having a better shooting night, those would have been decent shots. Uh, but like I tell Kevin, you have to impact it in many different ways. Playmaking uh, for others and rebounding the basketball on the defensive end, and he's done that. Uh, but we can't uh, discount Tony Allen. He is a good defender. He knows how to... Uh, he knows his role and he wants to do it very well. But uh, I like the shots that Kevin did get. He he got shots all over the floor. So that's that's one of the things that we wanted to to have going into that game last game. Spread spread his touches around the floor, and I thought his looks were really good. Reggie has excelled in three different roles this year: starting point guard, backup point guard, and playing sidekick to Russell on the court. How difficult is it for a guy to? take on a lot of different roles and play well the way he has at all three roles? Uh, I don't think it's difficult at all. I think the, I think our, we've always had a conversation with all of our guys. Our role is to play as hard as you can and to play um, play for your teammates. And if you do that, 
it uh, doesn't really matter what role you're put in as long as you, you, you're focused on, on those two things. Reggie is a terrific player. He had a, a good game, like I said before last game. I knew I, I had a feeling that he, he was going to uh, bounce back and, and make shots because he's made shots for us all year, especially around the paint. He's one of the best finishers in the league uh, at that spot. And, and he did a great job of stepping up and, and attacking and, and getting good looks around the basket. Basically, we got back to the locker room, showered off, and had to put it behind us. We know we're in the best of three-game series now, playing a tough team, um, especially the record book, second time done, where it's three overtime games back to back to back in the playoffs. So we know we're having a tough battle. They believe that they should win. We believe that we should win. Um, both teams want to advance. We know it's a do-or-die moment. So put it behind us. I told my team, same thing, uh, that we were moving on, even in the joy of us hugging. Uh, that's what we were talking about, just moving on, getting past it, and understanding we have a game to come out here and try to win tomorrow. You grow up thinking of moments where you get a chance to really feel like you impact your team and help take over a game and win. And um, I was just happy that we did it together, happy to be a part of getting stops, um, making shots at the moment, and my teammates trusting in me, just allowing me to play free flowing. So it was a very emotional moment for me, just hopefully one of many to come. But it was, it was just a great experience. I enjoyed it so much. But um, like I said, just put it behind me now. As far as your mental strength or anything else, did you learn something about yourself maybe you didn't know? Uh, I learned to tell myself it's just basketball. I continue to tell myself it's just basketball, that we're going to be bonded regardless what happens. Um, and that my teammates are starting, well, I already knew they trusted in me before, but yeah, I think they're trusting in me more. And we're all just trusting each other, just figuring it out together, this journey, trying to get things done. Um, but I think I surprise myself sometimes with mental strength. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell yourself that you can and continue to tell yourself you can, even though you may not be in those moments, uh, just preparing each and every day. Like I said, it's just been a tough journey. Uh, I've been preparing since I got here working hard. Uh, every kid dreams of the shot, counting down from five. Everybody knows in the backyard shooting shots, whether it's at the park, what you're doing. Uh, you just dream of moments like that, so it was great. Uh, finally felt like it paid off, and especially on that stage, uh, that magnitude on the road, and, and feeling like we all knew we needed a win. So I was just happy to be part of this team and be a part of that moment. Reggie, your Reggie offense we... got a, a lot of the attention, but was the defense that you were able to play on Conley keeping those guys out of the lane uh, a big factor, and, and will that continue to be in this series? Yeah, it was collective. Uh, we did it collectively. We were attacking them. Um, I feel like our offense is a big part too. We got to push the pace. We know they're bigs. They're trying to get a few breaks. If we don't push the ball up, um, they're doing a great job battling our bigs when they're on the offense, and our bigs are doing a great job keeping on the lane. Um, Perk, Nick, Serge have been doing a great job. Uh, even Steven, uh, Hash is also ready. Just doing a great job of battling with their bigs down the paint, uh, rebounding, keeping them offensively contained and then also they're a big part of our pick and roll coverage that come up. We ask them to really get the ball moving back with the ball handler, uh, take away pocket passes, protect the rim. So they're an integral part of what we do. So um, we're asking ourselves to try to do a better job of getting over screens and just getting back from the ball so that they can stay connected with their man. But uh, I feel like our team collectively did a great job of keeping their guards out of the paint for the most part until our kind of fourth quarter debacle, but uh, we know we can't allow them to also get in the paint so easily, especially with what they do on the offensive glass and what their bigs are asked to do each and every night. They're going to get so many touches that uh, we can't let guys slip behind us or get easy driving lanes. We know we have one of the best shot blockers in the league, but we can't put so much pressure on them, can't get them in foul trouble. So we kind of focused in. We're trying to get better with keeping them out the lane, just doing our best to contain their wing players. Reggie, we learned last year during the playoffs your clutch ability at the end of the game at the free throw line. You did it again the other night. What makes a good free throw shooter in that situation? I mean, it's obviously different than the regular portion of the game. Uh, you just realize you can make or miss. It's that simple. Uh, sometimes you forget. I'm definitely not perfect, but my whole life I've been told all I can do with the shot is make or miss it, and all I can do in a game is win or lose. So. Uh, the people that are close to me, I know that I have their love regardless, so I just go in thinking every shot I take, 
especially free throws, is going to go in. Uh, I feel like I put in the work. I've been blessed to be in those positions. I've been blessed to be healthy. So just go in there and trust myself that I can make it. And if not, uh, oh well, I guess that's it. I really can't dwell on that uh, if I miss or not. But I just go in with the confidence that I'm going to make every shot. It's the same shot I've been taking in practice. Uh, I don't think anybody's playing tricks on us. The line's the same distance, so uh, have a feel for it. And it's not a moving target. You're just sitting there. Uh, you can kind of drown everybody out. Just, I don't know. I think everybody, I think most of us have that ability to just drown out fans. Uh, we just live in between those lines, so you've done it many times before. Reggie, regarding Saturday night's performance, you said several times that you wanted to put it behind you, but isn't that an instance where you should probably wrap yourself in that confidence and that trust that you may not have had along the ride and take that in the game yeah, Tuesday? Yeah, you take the confidence uh, that finally made some shots and you kind of take away from it that attacking is, for me, is my best trait. Wait on my bigs to set a screen, just try to get in the paint. Um, I don't think necessarily those points are probably going to come again as many, but hopefully I can create open shots for my teammates. Uh, we've all been looking for each other. We feel that we're not going to shoot that poor on many given nights, so we're waiting for the lid to come off the basket one night. But, um, like you, say, you just take that confidence away from it, but I can't continue to necessarily live in that moment and keep thinking about it. Maybe when the season's over, uh, really all of us think about the accomplishments we had this season, but uh, I got to move fast. It's, like I said, it's a three-game series. We're lucky to have home court advantage again, but uh, the game's tomorrow, so I can't really focus too much on what happened in game four, three, two, or one. Oh, just one day at a time, man. Focus on the, the task at hand. Uh, get ready for the next game and go out and try to compete. What do you like when you saw film from Reggie's performance in particular? Uh, just attacking. Did a good job of just staying in attack mode. Um, you know, he, like he's been in all season. As long as he continue to do that, miss or make, you know, it puts pressure on the defense throughout the whole game, and you know that's tough for them. He's had a lot of big games, but can that be like a breakthrough, just a mentally game that he can build off of? Definitely, definitely. One of those games in that type of atmosphere uh, during that time, uh, during this time of the year, is definitely one of those games, you know, can help you out, help your confidence out, and help you move forward to the next one. What does it do for your offense when you and Kevin and Reggie are on the floor at the same time? Uh, just gives you a lot of options, man. Um, you know, you can't put all the, the attention on me and Kevin. And at that time, Reggie's able to attack, uh, able to get in the paint, get guys open shots as a surge, and, you know, Karan Fish and those guys get open looks. Was the way that you guys kept Mike Conley out of the paint a, a factor, and will that be a, a pretty important issue going forward? It's very important. Him, um, they know. Um, Courtney Lee, those guys getting in the paint in the T for our defense, it makes it tough on our bigs. And uh, we got to do a better job and continue to do a better job of just keeping them out the paint and uh, using our length. Russ, what, what, what does Memphis do differently with you guys defensively? Or is it just their personnel and their size? What makes them different defensively? I mean, they just putting a lot. They just putting, you know, three or four people on, on the ball. Whenever me and Kevin has the ball, that's what they're doing. And you know, that's their game plan, which, you know, I don't blame them. That's, they do, they're doing what's best for them. But we just got to adjust and make sure we make our teammates better. Russ, you guys played fine with your backs against the wall, but is it important to maybe not trail in this series again? How much more of a confidence boost will that be for whoever gets this next one? No, oh, I mean, it's the first team to four. I mean, we just got to go out. Um, now it's 2-2. Two -two. We got to win two games. That's all we got to think about is the next game, and that's it. I did an amazing job, man. They're doing. A, I don't think they're getting the credit they deserve. I think a lot of, you know, a lot of the attention is talking about Kevin and myself. But I think those bigs, Perk, Serge, Nick, Steven, they're doing the job. You know, helping us win games, doing a great job of defending, keeping those bigs under control, which is tough to do. All right, our thanks to the players and the coach. All that's left now is the game tonight at 8 o'clock at Chesapeake Energy Arena. We'll start our countdown to tip-off at 7 o'clock, and don't forget the franchise post-game show after the contest. Thanks for watching this edition of the Franchise Thunder Report. I'm David Garrett for 1077 The Franchise.